The nurse reviews the assessment findings for a newborn who was born 10 minutes ago via cesarean section at 35 weeks. The newborn's length is 19 inches or 48.3 centimeters, and weight is 4.4 pounds or 2,000 grams. For each body system listed below, click or specify, with an X, the newborn findings that are of immediate concern to the nurse. Each body system may support more than one relevant newborn finding. Correct answer. For the respiratory system, the relevant client findings that would most concern the nurse are the newborn's expiratory grunting and apneic episodes because they indicate respiratory distress and impaired gas exchange. Fine crackles are common and expected, but coarse crackles would be abnormal and concerning to the nurse. The normal, usual newborn RR is 30 to 60 BPM, so the RR is normal and expected. Mottled skin and crying are also typical for newborns. However, the arms and legs of a newborn are usually in a flexed position rather than a relaxed one. The relaxed posture could be the result of hypotonia or muscle atrophy, which could result in respiratory compromise, a significant concern for the nurse. The cardiovascular, metabolic findings, including the presence of a murmur, are typical for a newborn with the exception of the body temperature, which is below normal. A subnormal temperature, hypothermia, may lead to systemic complications such as hypoglycemia and acidosis and would therefore be concerning to the nurse. The normal newborn HR is 100 to 160 BPM. The nurse review selected data from the medical record of a 54-year-old client who was admitted to the emergency department with report of diarrhea and weakness. Highlight the client findings below in the nurse's notes and laboratory results that require immediate follow-up by the nurse. Correct answer. The client has severe watery diarrheal stools that are making him weak and could lead to dehydration, which is of immediate concern to the nurse. The abnormal ECG, dysrhythmia, and muscle twitching suggest that he could have an electrolyte imbalance. Weakness could also be the result of dehydration and or electrolyte imbalance. The lab results confirm that the client has hyperkalemia, which could be causing cardiac and muscle assessment findings and can be life-threatening if not addressed. The client has an elevated blood urea nitrogen, BUN, which is consistent with both CKD and dehydration, possibly caused by his diarrhea. The nurse would be very concerned about those findings that indicate dehydration because the client could become hypovolemic and progress to shock if not treated. The low hemoglobin and hematocrit are expected for a client who has stage 3 CKD. He has no symptoms of anemia, so these lab results are expected and not relevant. The elevated creatinine is also expected because of his CKD and is not of immediate concern to the nurse at this time because it is not at a life-threatening level. An elevated creatinine is associated only with kidney function and not fluid or dietary status. 